It is called The Personal Treasures of Bernard and Shirley Kinsey. The collection features rare pieces which until now have been tucked away in a private gallery. Good morning. Uh, very special. Yeah. We, good morning. We are at the home of Bernard Shirley Kinsey to take a look at the Kinsey Collection. The Kinsey Collection pays homage to African Americans who helped build and transform the United States. Once scattered by history and now gathered in a single collection a cultural inheritance for African Americans. Tonight a conversation about the intersection between art and history with Bernard and Shirley Kinsey. Documenting the African American experience from the early 17th century through the tumultuous civil rights era, the Kinseys have had a 30-year love affair with collecting. The Kinsey collection started 30 plus years ago. We didn't, we didn't start out for this to be a collection but we're delighted that it has happened that way because the more we began to understand and know about our history, the more we felt that other people needed to be touched and, and know about it too. Some of the items were passed down through their family, some were purchased at auctions, and others were acquired during the Kinsey's numerous trips around the world. We've been to 90 countries and six continents, and we basically collected something from all of these 90 countries. But our real focus has always been how do we speak to the African-American experience. Their collection isn't only African-American, but mostly paintings, sculpture, and documents from the distant past and the not so distant. I love this letter. A letter from Malcolm X to Alex Haley, 1963. Over the years, they realized they were collecting a story. When we came to the Americas from Africa, how do we evolve? And, and that evolution is, is, is both painful and wonderful. And, and putting that together is what we tried to do here. It's been quite a journey for a couple who met as college kids at predominantly black Florida A&M in 1963 when students were fighting for civil rights. I met her after she got out of jail. They've grown so close. Uh, demonstrating. Demonstrating. So, you know, you know, sit-ins. Sit -ins they finish each other's sentences. Yeah. So you knew she was something special from the oh, beginning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Both now are retired from Xerox, where Bernard rose to become vice president. He's now a much-in-demand business consultant. Fast forward to the present. The couple holding a news conference in Washington, D.C., as their collection, the shared treasures of Bernard and Shirley Kenzie, now greets visitors to the busiest museum in all the world the Smithsonian. I have opened numerous exhibitions throughout my career, but few have excited, few have challenged, few have moved me as much as the Kinsey Collection. As the first African American ever to publish a book of poetry. This is my first time seeing the collection since I uh, did the recording for it. So it's kind of fantastic. It's a wonderful way to show that we too are part of the fabric of the making of this nation, which sometimes I think gets forgotten in the telling of the American stories. The Kinseys have reached a stage in their lives where they can afford to indulge their passions, one even greater than collecting, sharing. Together, they have raised more than $22 million for scholarships at historically black colleges. You know that black people have been a part of everything that's happened in the Americas almost from the beginning. And having that connection with the past and with history is what really creates this sense of strength inside of us and to know that we have this identity that, and this lineage that is so powerful. We think what we have is the beginning of this story about this wonderful, wonderful race called African Americans that came out of a, a terrible situation. I want our people to be empowered by all the accomplishments, yeah. all the things that we did in building this country. And as Bernard says sometimes, let everybody know we got dibs here, yeah, yeah. okay? And we didn't always come here as slaves. We came here as free people initially. 